Hi everyone, this is Cody from BridgeCom Systems, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware on your Anytone radio. Now this is going to be specific to the 878 and the 878 Plus, and possibly newer versions, uh, but currently this is what it applies to. So first, figure out what firmware you have, go ahead and turn on the radio, then go to Menu, then go all the way up to Settings, then go down to Device Info, then you're going to scroll down till you see firmware version right here. So currently, currently we are on firmware 1.10. So we're going to update this to the latest, which at this point in time is 1.12. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now we're on the computer. So what we're going to do here, open up a web browser, go to bridgecomsystems.com. Once you're on our website, uh, this is a great resource for lots of information. Uh, you can go to the support section, go ahead and go down to the, the 878 support page in this case. Now this is always changing, uh, so you want to get the most up-to-date stuff if you go on here. Uh, but we're going to update this radio to firmware version 1.12. So we want to download the, the version here that has the, the drivers and everything, uh, the firmware in it. Because uh, sometimes they're just a CPS update without firmware, we want the firmware too. So go ahead and save that. And you want to go ahead and uh, extract this. So just right click on it, extract all. So now that we have this, you can go ahead and install the, the latest uh, CPS software for uh, your radio. Now I already have that installed so what we're going to do is just simply open this up. Now I do have the radio plugged in and turned on so we're going to look for it here in the COM port, COM3. So go ahead and go to tool and then go down to firmware and icon update. Now before we actually do this process we have to put the radio into update mode. So we're going to jump out of the computer a second and show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are at the radio, so I'm going to unplug it, uh, turn the radio off, then hold down the button on top, that blue button, and the push to talk button, and turn it back on, and this light should start flashing. So you can go ahead and let go of them. Now we're just going to plug it back in like this. There we go, and now we're ready. So now on the computer, you can just go here and open the update file. So we're going to look at the desktop. Go in here, then 1.12 update files. And it should be an SPI file. Uh, this is version 1.12. So we're going to open this. And then everything looks good. Make sure duplex is checked. And then go ahead and click right. And there we go, it's going to update the radio. Now this could take a minute, uh, but it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so here we go, it says write complete. So we can go ahead and close out of this. Uh, now this is the latest version of the, the CPS. Uh, so everything should be up to date at this point, but let's go ahead and look back at the radio and verify we have the latest uh, firmware. So here we are back on the radio. I'm just gonna restart it real quick shouldn't be necessary but okay so it's powered back on so we're gonna go to menu again up to settings down to device info then firmware version 1.12 so we are currently on the latest firmware at this date and we're good to go. So for the 878 radio, that's how you update the firmware. Real simple process. Shouldn't take more than a few minutes to do. Uh, now there isn't necessarily always a, a reason you need to update. If you're not having any problems, it's working great and you're happy with it. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do this. But if you want the latest stuff, this is how you do it. Uh, so hopefully you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with anyone you know who uh, is having trouble doing this or uh, just needs more help with it. Uh, this is Cody from BridgeCom Systems 7-3.